Have you ever wondered why everyone was programmed and conditioned to work all day like slaves and have every aspect of their life regulated and taxed? How far does this rabbit hole go? Who set this whole thing up? Who set up the banking system? Who set up the governments? Who set up the religions? Who set up the borders, the countries, and all the different races of the humans? Who manufactures and finances both sides of every world war? Who is responsible? Let's explore these possibilities. Now, before we go any further, if you are happy and content with living in a box, thinking that you're in a free country, working your job, and having every aspect of your life taxed and regulated by the government, then uh, just go ahead and click this video off. This is not for you. But I will warn you that once you go down these rabbit holes, and once you know these things, you will not be the same person and you will never be able to go back. This knowledge of our past is something I became very obsessed with and you have to be in order to really figure it out for yourself. And when I say obsessed, I mean I have isolated in myself in, in rooms for hours and hours on end for months and months at a time and read every book and listened to every podcast and followed every researcher I could find on the subject. Reading through the books was not enough for me though. I, I actually traveled to some of these places. I have traveled to some of the oldest cities. I've been to ancient Egypt. I've been to Teotihuacan, the city of the gods. I've been to Coral Castle. Coral Castle is a fascinating place, and it's actually located right here in the United States, near the tip of Florida. Coral Castle was constructed over a hundred years ago by one man, and he lifted these huge dozens of ton blocks, coral blocks, into this castle, and he left clues all around the property as to how he did it, and he claimed to have the occult knowledge of the ancient Egyptians, the knowledge of anti-gravity and how to levitate giant stones. In order to find the answers to all these questions, we have to study the ancient creation stories from the oldest civilizations from all around the planet. You cannot just learn about one, you have to study them all to even begin to comprehend what is going on here. When you do this, you will come to conclusions that other people that look just like you and me, but were more advanced, came to this planet from somewhere else in the solar system or somewhere else in the universe and they were using Earth for resources. These people were more advanced technologically and genetically. Some of them were so advanced that they could remain incarnated in their human bodies indefinitely and they understood the technology of how to incarnate their consciousness into other bodies, not through death and without losing their memory. Evidence strongly suggests that the bloodline descendants of these beings inherited all their wealth, inherited all their knowledge, along with the divine right to rule, which is where we get kings and queens and princes from. And yes, it's also where we get the presidents of the United States. They are also all bloodline descendants of these highly advanced beings. The other conclusion that you will most likely come to is that these advanced people have been building and launching civilizations on all the different planets, asteroids, and moons in our solar system. This is now very accepted by the community of researchers because of something called the Freedom of Information Act. This act forced NASA to release satellite images from all over our solar system. When you study all of the images released, you find pyramids, ancient megalithic structures, sphinxes, and massive buildings that are geometrically aligned as well as astronomically aligned, just like the pyramids and megalithic structures here on Earth. Here is a photo of ancient Egypt, which is aligned with the Orion star system. Here is a photo of the pyramids in China, which is also aligned with the Orion star system. The city of the gods, Teotihuacan, the one that I visited, is also astronomically aligned with the Orion star system. And so is the ancient megalithic site on Mars called Sidonia, which is also astronomically aligned with the Orion star system. So I believe, along with many others, that these advanced beings have probably implemented similar control systems on other planets as well. It's like their cookie cutter control system. They show up on a planet with lesser evolved beings, maybe even do some genetic manipulations like the ones talked about in the Bible, and then they indoctrinate everyone with religions and governments who control the money supply while everyone else has to work for it. How can they get away with this so easily, you might ask? Well, they genetically modify people to be dumber than they are. They genetically modified the people to die at 100 years, and somehow they set it up so that when these people reincarnate their consciousness as a baby, their memory is wiped clean. 
and then right from the get-go, as soon as you're born, they begin indoctrinating you with religion and government and all these dogmas and superstitions that program and condition people to be submissive, obedient workers. The people are dumbed down and fed poisoned food and kept under stress all the time, so it's very difficult for them to evolve to a higher state of consciousness. As they do this, they keep the people arguing with each other over race, religion, politics, abortions, gay marriage, and similar meaningless things to gossip and complain about. They use fear-mongering strategies such as terrorist attacks to gain support to send armies into other countries to kill people and take over the natural resources. It's called divide and conquer. It's a very old strategy and it's been working very well for them all the way up to this day. Aside from keeping the people arguing amongst each other, they also keep them distracted with things like sports, MMA fights, the Olympics, and meaningless television shows like the Kardashians and celebrity gossip and who's fucking who and who said this about what and who supports gay marriage and who is pro-choice, etc. Before this sounds all doom and gloom, I would like to highlight that in the ancient Sumerian creation story, there are mention of advanced people who came here with good intentions. One of the very well known is Thoth, the Egyptian god of knowledge, also known as Hermes by the Greeks, and also known as Mercury by the Romans. Thoth was a teacher of wisdom and worked to raise the level of human consciousness so that they would live free from the false reality that was doctrinated upon them. After a global flood, he began to raise humanity back up to a high level of consciousness, but the majority of the humans eventually fell back into ignorance, which is where we are today. These rulers also keep everyone, meaning you and me, using old primitive technology like fossil fuel powered cars, airplanes, helicopters, and boats while suppressing anti-gravity technology and suppressing faster than light speed travel. May I also add that these rulers do not want you to know that there's already cities and people living on all the other planets all over the universe. See, if people here on Earth knew that, they'd want to go and explore the universe. That means they would stop working at their jobs and stop paying taxes and leave. They would leave the planet. Now, the private offshore bank that hijacked the financial system of the United States, which we know as the Federal Reserve, does not want the people to leave because then they would lose their power. You see, the people, as long as they stay here and they're working and they're paying their taxes and they're conforming, that is like the collateral. In fact, your birth certificate is actually traded on Wall Street. The other thing that is suppressed is free renewable energy technology. This enables them to further enslave us by making us rely on them for electricity and even charging us a monthly fee for it. They place their pawns in political positions of power and make them out to be celebrities, but in reality they are pedophiles and puppets to serve the agenda of our enslavers. Once people wake up to this as a collective consciousness, things will start to get better. But it will take a lot of time and effort from people like us who are willing to fight back and willing to spread this knowledge. These people that have been ruling the planet know that all of us combined are more powerful. And if we all understand where we really came from and what is really being suppressed, then it's game over for them. Once the anti-gravity is released, it will collapse the fossil fuel monopoly. Once people stop using fiat money and decentralize the money and choose which money they want to use, the central banks, religions, and governments will start to lose their power. The question is, how fast can we make people aware and how fast can we wake people up?